there's something that I thank God about is whether you like it or not. What matters is where did you start? Because on the race, I want to tell you when you are running the race, on the race you don't start on the center. Is it true? You start from on your marks. So always you must know that your humbling beginning matters a lot to where you're going. So many people now, they want to start on the center. You understand? And this confused them because on the center, they don't know whether the finish line is there or that side. Jesus name. I'm sure you hear me. Yes. And that's why many people are confused like you. So, because if you start from the, I don't know if you are hearing what I'm trying to say. You hear what I'm trying to say? Eh? Yes, yes. Yes, because you are very much confused. Many times you want God to use you, but now you don't know which direction to be used by God. Yes, eh? that's true. You know what I'm talking about? So it's how you start and where to start. But if you start from on your marks, you understand? So you will know which direction are you running to. But if you start from the center, you may mistake. So that is why you find that now you are running parallel, let me contrary to your destiny. God is calling you there, you are going there. There are many people like that. And you know, you are running a very high speed, everybody is watching you. Very soon everybody will say, man of God, man of God. But you are a man of God who's going to the beginning. You understand? Yes, yes. You're supposed to start from the beginning to the end. So many men of God now, because of confusion, of seeing other people on top, you find they start on the center. I believe it's a great lesson for you. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Huh? I want to pray for you. When you leave from here, you must finish with the issue of where you belong. Yes. You tell yourself and say, I belong. If you are belonging in Charis, you say, I belong in Charis. If you are belonging somewhere, go there and say, I belong there. Don't start on the center. God loves you. Can you confirm what I'm trying to tell you? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it's true. I say confirm. Because you're the only one who knows. These people here, they don't know what I'm talking about. Mm, it's true because I, I got um, a doubt of a spiritual father and sometimes I wish to be at synagogue. So that's why I'm so confused. <clears throat> so when you live here, you must know where you belong. Yes. Because now doing this like this, you're on the center. And if you're on the center, God wants to start people from the beginning. They have to be history. Are you hearing me? Yes. Eh? Yes. Yes. If you ask uh, the prophet, he will show you this is the history. This is where I am. Everybody have got history. We don't manipulate others to be somewhere by them. Many people now are using the name of the prophet to mm. be somewhere. Yeah. You are starting on the center. It's very dangerous. But the time when you go say you have not done anything because you will run back to the onomax and you find yourself there, you think you're finished. And God say, you have not done anything. You have not done anything. In fact, there's a lot by what I'm trying to tell you. I'm telling you a lot. Because you have got too much confusion. But I'm not speaking with you alone. There are many here. That is why whatever we say here will be heard in the housetops. That's what Jesus said. The moment when we speak something here, you find that it's known everywhere. Some of you, when you finish this service, you are calling, hello? Yeah, you are saying, <laughs> you are their newspaper. So whatever we hear 
it will here you'll find that it's known everywhere everywhere i want to pray for you So can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from, and also confirm the prophecy that you received from the man of God today, whether it was true or not. Uh, my name is Surprise. I'm Apostle Surprise Masego from Ezevim Bumalanga, uh, but now I'm here at Tenbisa Jiani. Uh, the prophets the man of God gave me today, uh, I was confused uh, about uh, where I belong or a spiritual father. So now I do have a spiritual father, but I'm still confused. Where can it, I want God to, to reveal where I belong. I, I feel so com comfortable because now it, it, it gives me more it gives me more encourage that I must go and pray more and so that God can reveal my true home. The man of God today was teaching us about submission and the message that he gave to you that we must not start in the center but in the beginning. What can you say to other young ministers out there? Uh, what I can say is that uh, to young ministers all over the world, they must pray for their true home, mean the spiritual home. They must not go because of appearance or because of the man of God, how fame is, but they must pray to God.